Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everybody, checking back in on Facebook and it is still a bore to bulls and bears alike as it continues to tighten this range. We have an inside candlestick today forming compared to yesterday, so we'll be watching the range of today, the high and the low. If we break 127.83, it is likely we see a red day, and if we break 128.80, it is more likely we see a green day. It's that simple on this inside candle pattern, which I have been exploring more and more and do like the indication that it gives. It certainly can tilt the odds in your favor of knowing which direction to be looking at, and it works on all kinds of time frames. So Facebook, clearly very tight. And if you're trading options, you're really getting eaten by time decay. And I know I keep saying that. Just wait for the bullish break. If you're not already in a position, play something else or scout something else or do something else. Because if you're in any calls or puts here, you're just getting eaten alive by time decay as we continue to wait for a clear break of this pattern, which is not anywhere in sight. So I'm still watching 126.80 and 129.47 as the range. And we've been within that the past five days. As we continue to tighten up, we can see the mat or the RSI is getting tighter and tighter and tighter as well, showing that. And the weekly time frame still favors the bulls and an, a doji of indecision with the open and close being the same. And we have an inside candlestick here on the weekly as well. So next week could be the week we get a clear break looking at this week's range. So let's now look at the five minute time frame and not a whole lot. There were some nice directional trades here in terms of the price heading in one direction for some consistent time where we had a nice bullish start to the day with the hold of the 100 period moving average support, the first two candlesticks, and then some upside. Very clear bearish reversal inverted hammer and confirmed it, and then very clear bearish action the next hour plus. So nice bull action in the morning, bear action in the late morning, bull action very strong in the afternoon, 40 minutes of green in a row, and then from there it was pretty much sideways trading and another example of time decay eating up options as we didn't see much volatility. So the range was set fairly early on in the morning and then just straight across towards the end of the day. Some bullish action into the end of the day and this volume does stand out and not sure we saw that action on SPY. Let's double check that. And we did not. So that does stand out. And the last time I saw something like that stand out was when Tesla had bullish news over the weekend and it resulted in an $8 gap up, I believe roughly on the following Monday. So not saying we're going to get news on Facebook, but it does stand out as someone loading right at the end of the day and not seeing similar action on a lot of stocks. So let's see if Facebook bulls are going to show up tomorrow. Let's see if there's any news going to come out. And I wouldn't be surprised to see it, but I obviously wouldn't be making any bets hoping for news to come out. So some bullish action. We'll see if it carries over into tomorrow. And we'll look at the high of today as a key resistance tomorrow, 128.80. Thanks for tuning in. See you then.